Welcome everyone, we should be live. I wanted to uh, make a short news cast. Usually we do this on the more random channel, but some major news that probably affect more people. I came across this tweet here in my uh, tweet verse and I suspected this already and probably that sounds rather logical. You probably have noticed uh, AMD and NVIDIA releases mostly paper releases of some sort, uh, meaning not, not a high quantity of neither NVIDIA, which we don't prefer here for open source reasons, but AMD latest Zen and Big Navi, which actually both I kind of sort of wanted to upgrade for. And yeah, availability near zero. And the reason apparently, which probably sort of could have been clear, is yeah, nearly no supply there of uh, silicon semiconductors. And uh, the reason for that is just that everyone is using TSMC these days, right? Uh, you might have noticed this Taiwanese semiconductor manufacturing or so company, I guess. And so nerd tech here on Twitter, news from Taiwan, which is this here and uh, brave new world, right? Previously the USA was the leader in technology nowadays, obviously Taiwan and such. So yeah, be prepared to better learn some Chinese. And uh, so here's some Google Translate, obviously, right? Uh, until we learn more Chinese. Uh, which uh, Ni Hao obviously right. Um, so the reason according to uh, decoding this press release here is TSMC, congratulations, totally booked out obviously with the latest and greatest semiconductor tech there of kind of pseudo five or seven plus nanometers. And so how much is AMD ordering? So AMD is apparently ordering a record 120,000 wafers, actually by the way I could have uh, opened that in case you don't know that for those who are new to semiconductors and stuff that is the um, substrate that the semiconductor stuff is uh, made out of so uh, the 30 usually the, I think these days 30 right previously they were smaller 20 whatever something six or so I think not sure if they still use 30 some decade ago or so they upgraded to 30 uh, 30 centimeter for um, probably less waste and uh, better efficiency in, in the production lines. Anyway, so this wafer's record uh, record uh, breaking 120,000 and you might wondering what the heck do they need 120,000 wafers for, right? If there is zero, <laughs> near zero supply of Zen 4 and Big Navi and it's like, yeah, it's a gaming console, it's stupid. So Apparently, uh, the, the socks in the, you probably have heard about that, that AMD also previously when they were last decade near bankruptcy and Intel was the latest and greatest um, mainstream enthusiast PC stuff, AMD probably only alive due to, thanks to the console socks, the uh, system on chips. So 80,000 for the PS5, 40,000 for the SSX and 80% um, uh, of the seven nanometer wafers uh, allocated to AMD. So yeah, they just pumping out the game console socks uh, like crazy. And obviously they have contract um, obligations to fulfill if Microsoft and Sony order so and so many um, to be delivered. Then obviously they need to deliver. Um, also, obviously, um, why is there such a shortage? <laughs> there is nearly only TSMC left with state-of-the-art manufacturing processes. Of course, there is, well, Intel obviously a little bit lagging behind there and otherwise uh, Samsung or so. And the rest here, of course, uh, largely allocated to Apple's uh, iPhone and uh, A14 and new previous video on these channels. Apple ARM based M1 processor for the Max. And um, yeah, so with that, 7 nano, 5 nanometer advanced manufacturing processes are all fully loaded. Um, Google Translate here, obviously, whatever it said previously in Chinese, coupled with the significant improvements in the production yield, legal 
persons expect what legal person now whatever probably garbage translation fourth quarter and yeah probably if that is a publicly traded company maybe it's time to invest in tsmc maybe i probably should have done this before this video high target performance something so yeah they are fully loaded they expect to be continue to be fully loaded um mm. and expect to produce and earn a record uh stuff here of whatever exchange rate high in dollar or something fourth quarter um, i guess it's amazing and if you are wondering so yeah that, that, that's that's the situation so you, you can have game consoles um although i only cared for the ps3 previous videos and don't get any of the new ones but not not fancy enthusiast stuff and due to the sales uh, going on over holiday season and new year it's also not likely to change so the few models um, on the shelves of AMD and um, CPUs and GPUs probably overpriced due to shortage and probably also the reason why NVIDIA with their latest and greatest RTX uh, went to Samsung for that because probably NVIDIA probably didn't couldn't get with, with all this bidding there between Alpha and Advanced Micro Devices probably NVIDIA simply couldn't get any allocations there and a fun fact they also write here that the allocation previously um, to Huawei uh, after TSMC had to stop thanks to um, Orange uh, previous Orange presidents uh, and this Chinese boycott thing TSMC had to stop shipments to Huawei and Apple allegedly due to according to this press release has took over that fully contract of that five nanometer capacity to the end of the year. So yeah, uh, Huawei's loss is Apple's win here apparently. And in case you're wondering or new to this stuff and don't know the history, a little bit fun fact of the history. Um, previously, so of course there are many, many semiconductor foundries, but most of them, them don't have um, latest and greatest uh, processes. And that is, of course, you probably don't want a 28 nanometer thing there. Um, certainly for the latest and greatest enthusiast and stuff, you uh, want the latest and greatest 5 nanometer, 7 nanometer, and uh, 11 plus, 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 plus. So there are many, many others, um, UM, UMC and uh, so on. Um, do they have you also the technology probably what foundry where is here the do they not have nanometer anyway uh, also here yeah, texas instruments usa dallas and stuff but many of them are old uh, very old i uh, hear maybe they have here no plants cost uh, where do they have uh, yes by the way wafer size so i said previously 30 so 20 as I, I said like 26 or something so apparently 20 was also standard this of course millimeters for those in to metric measurements so previously 20 uh, the new ones are 30 as i said and um, unfortunately i don't see on a first glance in this here at least they have here what they manufacture but yeah you also know they also need to manufacture non-flash stuff and dram and stuff so um yeah they all are pretty busy at micron and so on and uh, for those also um uh, intel obviously for a uh, little bit. Oh, wait a second. Here is the process notes. Uh, huh, here we have this uh, process technology. Uh, I love it. So it, some are, as you see, super, super, extremely old. Uh, there is even there. Yeah, 2000 started production. 2003. Thank you very much. Probably you don't want to have uh, 110 nanometer anymore, right? Or 450 there. Um, even 90, right? This is all like 2000 technology of like, yeah, thank you very much. And um, 32 even 32 20 and here's actually 12 and this is uh, China 12 and 14 allegedly um, but yeah you probably some are uh, 2020 um, what is it here of anyway I wanted to say that previously for those who are new to this channel AMD obviously had their own fabs um, that here for example are oh, now those analog devices um, but when AMD, first of all, AMD was similar struggling like Intel nowadays to keep up with the process technology. Um, I think it was maybe 28 nanometer and they sold this off or spun this out as global foundry these days. 
and uh, which even to some surprise we even have here in Germany um, but as you see 22 to 45 it's like yes thank you very much that is of course um, a little bit vintage and probably only good for IO dice and, and whatnot or other um, obviously not state of the art so what I wanted to say is um, there are many but not many state of the art and the latest and greatest and um, the other thing is uh, this is also a little bit the situation similar to previously Intel this monopoly situation of yeah, only Intel is the latest and greatest and now only TSMC is the latest and greatest and yeah obviously demand and um, demand and capacity and um, yeah we probably need more Fabs, but the problem obviously is even Intel is struggling and it costs uh, a billion or two. Also, I heard, and by the way, here are costs right somewhere. Very not costs for this Fabs, maybe. So, yeah, unfortunately, even keep up with the process technology and uh, production started. Oh, wait a second, plant, plant cost. Yeah, also plant cost previously, also, yeah, inflation. Previously, you could get a, a Fab. And yeah, 1989, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, even there, this cost skyrocketed. You see here in Singapore, 3.7 billion US dollars in 2004 already. And of course, the latest and greatest of the yeah, latest and greatest of 55 to 28, apparently 6.2 billion. Um, although maybe this is a large fab and they just produce a whopping large amount. Anyway. Point is, the stuff is highly expensive, which is also um, 30 is, is 10 and 30 actually is planned. Um, this is even planned for future without. So this is new, but yeah, 10 to 30 billion. If By the way, could probably click on that. Can we click on that for a sorting? Yeah, the sorting is not amazing. It's, it's usual, mostly worthless. I thought I quickly can scroll over here, but um, as to expected, there is probably leave in the comments below if you know. Here is yeah Samsung seven TSMC five. Actually, here is TSMC. Yeah, there is maybe probably mostly TSMC and Samsung. Anyway, we need more fabs because supplies so for scoring some AMD or hopefully not Nvidia for all the open source and no open specification reasons. Markus uh, corrected some fabs not equals foundries. Um, SMIC12 is like Samsung 12, good for low power, low frequency, for high frequency. Intel, global foundry, RAM, and sort of, and TSMC. What do you mean with rip in peace? Um, rip, rip, what? For, I hope not the stream. We have only 6%, 1,600, hello, stream. Anyway, as that's for this video, I have a second update. So, um, as I said previously, also drop frames, not garbage, still uh, Vodafone, crap cable internet. Um, making a smaller segments because the uh, 30 or 60 minute videos, very few people are following. So that's that news. I hope that sheds some light on the situation of why there are very few. Also, basically in Germany, fun fact in Germany, I actually wanted, was at least considering to get the big Navi because I don't even have a fancy GPU here. And in Germany, most retailers don't even list it. Even IT wholesale distributors uh, don't have any supply. Uh, that I can look into here with this uh, XR code um, sales stuff, but. Not, not only there, but also Amazon, Case King, Alternate, and uh, all the other fancy stores. Many of them don't even list them, and the few who list some things like, yeah, um, uh, delivery uh, time unknown, it's like, yeah, thank you very much. Um, oh, Marcus gets spinner. So, yeah, I used normal streaming. Someone uh, like Glaucus also said this normal, not low latency streaming is better, but yeah, um, 1800. I only stream with two point something. Whatever Mbit, uh, 2.3 Mbit is too much, as you expect from a failing Vodafone garbage toxic cable stuff. I hope you learned something. If you have any further comments, leave me leave them down below, and uh, we make a second live stream of a second topic. And uh, otherwise, I hope you learned something and uh, have a good.